How's it going guys, this is 1FO here. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest possible way to make a Roblox GUI or an exploit GUI and then turn it into a script. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come onto your Roblox website, click the create button, and then click create new game. And out of all of these templates you just want to click base plate because it has nothing on it and then press create game. Once this loads, click edit on the top game in your list, which is the one you just made. And your Roblox might need to update here or maybe install. So just wait for that to finish. And then as you can see, you're in Roblox Studio. So this tutorial is gonna be really easy for people who know absolutely nothing about like making a GUI. You don't need a library. Basically, you just need to follow the tutorial and you'll be fine. So the first thing you want to do is come up here to the home tab, click this, then click UI, and then on the top left corner, just click screen GUI, and then click frame, and then you could put this wherever you want, I'd recommend putting it on the bottom right corner, because that's mostly where people don't have that much stuff on their screen. So you could make it a rectangle, you could make it a square, it could be really tall. I'm just going to make mine like this and put it like here. The next thing you want to do is rename your frame. So right click this button right here with the frame. Right click it, click rename, and name it main. It's the main window on your GUI. So then click this again, and then click background color 3. And you could change it to any color you want at all, it doesn't matter. I'm going to be making it gray. So then once you've changed it to the right color, right click main again. This time click insert object. And then do text label. Then you have to click the label, drag it all the way down to the other side. So this is going to be like the title basically. I'm going to make this black. Oops, that's not going to work. Okay, this looks fine. And then you could mess around with all the text however you want, but I'm just gonna be doing this. I'm gonna make it so that the text says, um, also you could change the font. I'm gonna make it like sci-fi maybe. And this looks fine. So I'm gonna make the text say, test GUI V3. You could put whatever you want. This looks really bad, but it's just for demonstration. So once you've done this, right click the icon next to text label, click rename, and rename it to just label. Just to keep it simple. And then once you've done this, right click the main again. Do not right click label. Don't right click screen GUI. Right click main. Click insert object this time and do, uh, where is it, text button. So you can have however many buttons you want, it doesn't matter. For this video, I'm just gonna do two, but you could just do the same thing I'm doing right now for as many buttons as you like. So I'm gonna do one button, and then you right click, I mean, you right click this, do copy, and then right click this, and do paste into, and then you'll have two buttons. You could also just do Control C, Control V, but I'm just doing this to make it more visible. So once you have these two buttons, right click your first button, call it Script 1. Click the second one, call it Script 2. You could call these whatever you want. You could actually, I'm going to do this. So name it what the script is. So this one will be called Print high print high because i'm gonna make this button print high and i'll make this one be jailbreak auto rob so this button will be jailbreak auto rob this one will be print high so you could click on your button from here and do background color three again and then make this whatever color you want it doesn't really matter i'm gonna try to get these as the same color 
Oh, that's close enough, okay. So, click on it, scroll down a bit, and then under text, I'm actually gonna, I'd recommend you make the size a bit bigger. So text size, I'm gonna make it 40, and then put on button, I'm gonna say, print text high. And then under this button, I'm gonna have it say, um, jailbreak, auto rob. So yeah, this looks pretty fine, I guess. Once you have it finished, I'm gonna have this link in the description. Let me get it really quickly. Okay, so it's this link right here for GUI to Lua revamped. You just want to click install on here, then come back to Roblox Studio, click under your toolbox, find this four box icon, click my models, and then click my plugins, then click this one and click install. There's going to be an install button, but I already installed it so I'm, I can't do it again. But then once you've done this, click the arrow next to screen GUI right here drag screen GUI into workspace the one with the earth on it and then once if you still have this highlighted you have to click on this icon so it's highlighted then come over to plugins click GUI to Lua which should be right here if you installed it and then once you have this selected and this here click convert you might need to click it twice if it doesn't pop up so the first thing you want to do is delete these three lines right here. So just delete that. You could replace it with whatever you want. I'm actually not going to put anything there, but you can. So the first thing, it's really easy. Just delete workspace and replace it with capital C core, capital G UI. So it should look like this, core G UI. Then click right here. On to the very last line of the under main so the first like the thing that you labeled main click here press the enter or return key and then do main all lowercase dot period okay then do capital A active space equal to space true so it's like really simple then copy this click over here again click enter paste it if you don't know how to con copy and paste i mean pretty much everyone knows it but control c is to copy and control v is to paste so once you have that change active the second active not the first one to capital d drag a bull so like 2G is draggable. Then find your button, which is this one. I actually have the script right here. It's a really, really short script. I'll have this in the description. So come on down to the last line. Click enter or return. Then paste in this code. I'll have it in the description once again. Delete name of button here and replace it with whatever this name is of your first one. Make sure you're not putting this underneath the one that has a label. Make sure it's one of your buttons. So put the name here. Mine was print high. And then where it says script here, this is where you'd put your script. So for this, I'm just going to have my script being print high. And then for jailbreak auto rob, let me get me let me get the script really quickly. I have it in my synapse folder. Let's see where is it? Here it is, auto rob. So you could use whatever script is here. It does not need to be a load string, but it needs to be in this place. So let me actually get this. Um, copy this code again. Put it underneath every button that you have. And then I'm just gonna replace this um, with my script. So I have my script here, and I'm going to put this right here, 
and then the next thing you want to do is just click anywhere on the script it doesn't matter where this is when you're done control a control c and then now you could use it in game so you're basically done i'm just going to showcase it really quickly so i'm going to join natural disaster survival I'm on my opt account for this video because I'm exploiting. And I'm going to get an exploit out really quickly. So I'm going to use Vega X. If you want this exploit, I'll have it in the description. I don't know why I didn't showcase it in Jailbreak because it's a Jailbreak script, but yeah. So click Attach, click OK. And then I'm just going to execute the script. And then as you can see, you can drag it around from anywhere, even in between buttons. And if I click F9, every time I click this button, oops. Okay, well, as you can see, it loaded up the auto rob. But you see how it's printing high? When every time I click this button, it will print whatever I have. I don't know why it's also executing this GUI, I think I made a mistake here. But yeah. So, oh yeah, I have this right here. So you need to make sure that you change this name to whatever your script is that's right here. So mine's Jailbreak Auto Rob. And yeah, pretty easy, pretty simple. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you can, and if you want me to do more of these videos, tutorial videos, leave it in the comments. Subscribe if you can too, and as always, peace.